Because when I get copyrights off that little beat, I'm going to be mad as hell. I'm going to be really fucking mad. Um, so, I know I got a whole bunch of requests for my first video. Um, so, I know I'm driving this shit. So, um, we about to get into this story time. I'm, uh, about to head to the crib. Uh, we're gonna talk about this crazy, how I lost basically 10, ten racks. Man, so, guys, you already know what it is. This shit gonna be crazy. I mean, hey, but shit happens. Shit happens. So, um, I'm about to... Heads to Krill, and I'ma uh, see y'all when I get there. All right, I just got to the house, so. Oh! Oh, okay, so. All right, I just got to the house, so. I'm about to uh relax right quick. Uh, take off these heavy ass clothes, and uh, <laughs> it looks so pretty. Um, yeah, anyway, so I'm about to take off all the clothes, set the way right quick, and then I'm gonna uh, tell y'all about the story. God, this shit's gonna be crazy. Okay, you guys, so after chilling for like, I think two hours, ready to begin about this story. Kind of mad just thinking about this shit. But, um, <clears throat> let's knock this out. So, um, and we started in five, four, three, two. All right, how did it start? Okay, so I had a 2010 Dodge um, Charger. Um, the car was, I bought the car for the mother of my child. It wasn't really for me, so I didn't really want it. I just wanted to make sure that she get well taken care of um, on a serious note. So, um, so basically, um, while I had that car for the uh, next two months, I was just hustling, basically to Christmas to uh, buy me a car. Um, uh, I am very impatient when it comes to stuff that I want, so I try to rush things as quick as possible. So basically, the only way I was really searching for cars was Facebook. <sighs> Boy, I would never do that shit again. Unless it's a dealership. But basically, yeah, I went to Facebook. Um, I was just checking it, checking it, checking it. And a car came up. And it was a 2016 um, Dodge Charger. And Hemi. And he wanted 14000 for it, cash. So, I was like, man. He was like, I, it, it was an emergency. I needed it for my uh my mom funeral uh stuff of that nature and i was like i was really feeling it i was really fucking feeling it i was like yo i, I think i can uh i can uh, come up with that shit and so basically um i hit the guy up um telling him i got basically nine thousand in cash take it or leave it and then he was like, okay, can you come up with a 10? And I was like, uh, kind of steep. So basically, I ended up coming with like at least 9, 5. I came up with 10. No, I came up with 9, 5. 9, 5. So basically, I came up with uh, 9, 5 on that. And, um, yeah, so he gave me the the title. I looked, I had my old title with me. So I'm I'm checking the paperwork. It looked exactly the like. So I'm just like wondering like, okay, this shit is too good to be true. But yeah, this is all me. He gave me the paperwork for it. Uh, yeah. But I just felt like something was off. But my mom was, she was with me. So she was like, yo, just go ahead and get the car. So I ended up just paying cash, nine five for it. And uh yeah, I was happy. And um now I got this car purchased on a uh on a Saturday. So that's another thing how you fucked up because you can't go to the um uh, the tag office or yeah, you can't go to the tag office on a Saturday because it's closed all the way into Tuesday. 
I wish somebody would have told me that shit. So basically, Monday came and he gave me the 45 day tag for it um, to ride around and all that good stuff. So Tuesday came and uh, my mom, she went to the, uh, the tag office to go verify the title for the car. And won't you know it, this shit was fake. It was fucking fake. Ladies and gentlemen, I had a fake fucking title. And I was freaking out. The police came. She calling me. She's like, where you at? And I'm pulling up. And I'm over here just like, yo, what the fuck, bro? I got finessed. I got fucking finessed. I just put tents on this motherfucking car. Jesus, that's why I said 10 bands because I had to like pay for that and I did some other stuff to the car already. I was ready to claim this shit as mine. So yeah, I had got finesse doing that shit and it was it was I ain't really I couldn't ponder it that I just lost ten ten racks, ten bands and uh fuck I'm getting mad all over again. Can you can see it on my face? Can you see it? Can you, nah you can't see it. Anyway, so yeah that was that. So basically, um, police came up there and they was asking me questions and I was giving them all the information that I had. And then he was like, where's the car? So he verified the VIN numbers. The VIN numbers was good. I had insurance on it. You know, my, my, basically all my information was straight. So the car was mine. So the car wasn't stolen. That's, that's thank God. But I know. Something had to be wrong with this shit. Something had to be wrong with this whole this whole thing was just all fucked up. So me I had to do a little more digging just to get the facts. Cause I'm wondering what the fuck I'm gonna do with this car. I don't, I don't got no title. So I can't get no basically license plate for it. So I'm just stuck with a 2016. I'm gonna keep saying that because I'm about to fuck y'all up for the next part. In this thing. And basically, I found the real VIN numbers on the car. Um, my homeboy dad found the real VIN numbers on the fucking car. And we basically know people in the office uh, that can give us all the information on the car. If it's stolen or something going on with it. You know, all that good stuff. I'm not going to put all the business out there. But uh, basically, she told me it's a 2019 Hear me, and uh, it was on. Basically, it was in limbo. And if you don't know what that means, then I can't really get into it. But basically, it's the cars that be on the truck. Basically, the guy dropped it off, and they have all the keys. And basically, the guy who uh sold me the car got in that motherfucker and uh drove all the way to Atlanta. In the car. So that I think that was the story. I just put two and two together. That's all it is. But she told me it was 2019. It's not 2016. That title is not for that car. Basically, all they did was swipe titles. That's that's all they really did. So yeah. So I thought that all that information. So I'm, I was really fucked because I really can't get the title. I thought it was a way to get the title, but I mean it's hell. I didn't want to pull out no engine. Of nothing like that, but yeah, that yeah. So basically, I'm riding around with a 2019 Dodge Challenger Hemi, Lord. Lord. So basically, I'm driving around uh, with a 45 day tag on it, uh, still flexing, still got insurance on it, all that smoke, all that good stuff. So, um. <laughs> It was around, I think, uh, it was around, what was it around? It was around a uh, homecoming weekend. I got pulled over. Police said the 45 day tag was fake. The 45 day tag was fake, ladies and gentlemen. This dude finessed the shit out of me. So basically, he gave me a ticket for it. concealing I, my identity, but it was, it was stupid because I gave him the whole situation on the car. So. But that didn't hold up in court. All that good stuff. Yeah, I had got two tickets for this goddamn car. But anyways, let me not get sidetracked from this whole fucking story. 
And so basically, um, I had to get rid of the car. Uh, there was no point of keeping it. It was shit. After my second ticket, I was like, Yo, I'm done. Like, I can't do nothing with this car. I, I can't go. I mean, it was certain ways you can finesse it. You can go buy a, a part, the body and then put the engine in there. But it's like way too much. And I don't have the patience for all of that. And I move around way too much. So I had to figure out some shit. So I ended up putting it on a few websites and telling them what was the whole situation on it. Because, I mean, I got finesse. I don't want to finesse nobody, you know. When bad shit happens to you, you don't put it on other people. You just you just don't do no shit like that. So that ended up happening. Um, basically, I had a buyer. Uh, I mean, it wasn't the same price that I got it for. But I got it, uh, I got it off, off me for like six Six bands, uh, with no title. So they ended up wrecking the car a month later, which was crazy as hell. What, what else happened? So basically, I didn't have a car, but I was stacking up my money. Um, and then I ended up uh, going to a dealership this time. Uh, and basically, the money I was saving up and... You loud as hell. You loud as hell. I was on YouTube. So, in, anyways, so basically, I end up going to um, a dealership and got down. Basically, spending eighteen thousand on the car. Uh, that I wanted. I mean, I was saving up money and then. That six that I had towards it. So it wasn't really like I spent a shitload of money. But I got me a car paid off. And, uh, yeah, that was that. Now, I mean, at first it wasn't exactly what I wanted. But, hell, God gonna humble me to get what I can afford. So 18000 was my limit. I was still cheap. I could have got a Hemi, but I ended up getting a V6. And I'm happy with my Dodge Challenger 2016. So... Yeah, that was basically my story of getting finessed. <laughs> this shit was stupid. Oh, God, I hope y'all enjoyed the uh, story time that I gave y'all. And lesson learned, do not buy anything off Facebook on a Saturday. Because when it sounds good, it ain't good. Make sure you do the whole check when you get a car from Facebook. If you buy it from a private guy, just make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. So, uh, with that being said, we're going to close this video out. And I hope y'all have a beautiful day. And uh, try not to get finessed for $10,000.